The government of China has announced a total ban on the processing and sale of ivory to be phased in over the next year and completed by the end of 2017. Since an estimated 50 to 70 percent of all ivory taken from elephants ends up in China, the new ban will play an enormous role in combating poaching and protecting elephants worldwide. The ban will be enacted in phases with a designated group of ivory processors and businesses being the first to close by March 31st. Ivory objects determined to have cultural or historical value will be transferred to museum collections. The ban satisfies an agreement made with the United States last year to crack down on ivory. It is also a result of international campaigns and public pressure. Former NBA star and celebrity Yao Ming has been at the forefront of anti-ivory campaigns within China. The international trade of elephant ivory has been illegal under CITES, the Convention on the International Trade of Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora, since 1989. However, the existence of legal domestic markets in some countries sustains demand and provides cover for illegal poaching and smuggling. Despite continued decimation of African elephant populations, a proposal to ban all domestic ivory trading was defeated at the most recent CITES conference. It was opposed by Japan, which now hosts the world's largest legal ivory market, and Zimbabwe, South Africa, and the European Union, which all profit from trophy hunting of elephants. Hong Kong, whose government operates autonomously from mainland China, has also announced a ban on ivory, but with a much longer phase-out period. Sales of ivory in Hong Kong will not be fully banned until 2021, raising concern that it may become the next big hub for ivory smuggling.